So I recently went on a massive Lego shopping spree and I want to share with you guys what I picked up. So Lego is a really interesting thing when it comes to investing and reselling things. There's a lot going on with the whole Lego world. A lot of you guys may not know this, but the way that Lego operates is that they release a certain amount of new sets every single year and then all the old ones that have been released for that year or maybe a couple of years then get retired. Kind of like you would expect with most products and product lines, but the interesting thing about Lego is that there's such a huge base behind them that once these sets retire, there's still a ton of desire for them and oftentimes people can't access these sets. At some point, some people start catching wind of this and decided that if they were to buy a bunch of Lego sets when they were still selling in the store, wait a couple of years for them to retire and then sell them back to people who still wanted them still sealed and brand new, they could make a lot of money. And that brings us to today where there's an entire world of investors and resellers that just focus on flipping Lego. There's so much of it out there and there's a lot to know about it, but that's sort of what prompted me to want to make this video. So I went out on a major shopping spree. I hit up multiple different store locations and I tried to find some Lego that we were able to buy and hopefully carry for maybe a year or two and sell in the fourth quarter in you know the hot season for all this stuff when it's all out of stock or it's all retired and we can hopefully make some really good money doing it. So here's the deal in simple. There's really two ways that you can make money reselling new Lego. Uh, the number one way that you can do it is to wait for a set after it's been released for a certain amount of time to be nearing its retirement. You buy it and then you wait for it to retire and then you go ahead and you sell it. And if you're looking for a little more money when you sell it, maybe you wait till the fourth quarter if you don't really care, or maybe it's a, so many years out that it won't make a difference, you can sell it whenever. But ideally, that set that you bought has appreciated in value because they're not making any more of them, and you're able to sell it for a good profit. The second way that you can make money selling Lego is to look for Lego that's heavily discounted. So that could be stuff on clearance, on sale, that doesn't necessarily retire right away. And that gives you the option to either just buy it at, let's say, 30, 40, 50% off, and wait till the fourth quarter rolls around and then try to list it then for you know 25 30% above retail when there's nothing in stock for a particular uh, set that's in you know high demand uh, or the other option is that again you're buying those at a discount and you can wait for them to retire now there's one strategy that combines these two which is kind of what I was focusing on and I think it can provide some real value to anybody looking to invest in Lego and that strategy is to buy things that are heavily discounted but that are also retiring soon that are also also in high demand. And that, folks, was the basic rules that I followed when I bought all of this stuff. So without any further ado, I think we should jump right into everything that I purchased. I'm super excited to show you guys what I grabbed. Again, this is a big test for me. So if you guys maybe don't know what you're doing and you're just watching this video and thinking, I'm going to go out and buy a bunch of Lego because he did, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should do a little bit more research and obviously go out on your own and figure everything out because I'm new at this and there's a very good chance that I could have made some bad decisions in this video and I could lose money on some of this stuff. But I'm doing this as a learning experience. There will obviously be an update video that follows this after we've sold off some of the Lego. I have managed to sell a bit of the stuff that I was testing with before. So it gave me enough confidence to go out and drop, I think almost $500 on all the stuff that you're about to see. Okay, I'll start off with location number one, which was a Walmart, and I purchased six sets at this Walmart. The first two were these Lego Ninjago sets. They have nine minifigures with them, and they were on clearance for 30% off. I can't remember the exact dollar figure that I paid for them, but just take 30% off of the retail. One thing to also note for anybody that's new at Lego is that every single set has an identifying number on the bottom of it that you can use to search up the value of it and the sold comps on eBay and all that stuff. So it's a really valuable tip. And it's just something that you can look for when you're actually looking for a set and you're curious as to what it's worth or what it retails for or the price it'll be worth, you know, in a certain number of years. There are also plenty of websites that will give you the projected value, kind of like the stock market on, you know, I think it's Brick Economy and there's a few other ones. You can enter in the sets that you own and you can actually see the future potential value of your collection or the sets that you're purchasing. Anyway, those were the first two. These were the other four. These were some Super Mario sets that were also heavily discounted, I think 30% off and they were selling on eBay like right now for more than retail. They're not retired yet, but I think they're pretty hard to come by. And also again, people don't necessarily do their uh, shopping or cross shopping when they're looking to buy something. So sometimes I guess they're spending a little more on eBay. I'm not sure what the reason is, but uh, anyway, we picked up four of these little Super Mario. I think they're just like little hat sets. They're really small. They only have like, how many pieces? 13 pieces per set. So they're super small. But anyway, those were a pretty good deal. Again, I think they were like $8 or $7 or something super cheap. So I bought all that stuff just going off of eBay sold comps. But that's when I started to do a little bit more research, started to watch a few YouTube videos. And Airval is kind of doing this with me as well. So I talked to him. 
we were passing some ideas back and forth and we decided on a few sets we were going to look out for that were retiring soon that we thought we could get on a discount and that would go up in value after doing all this research. So I went to the second Walmart much better equipped and I knew exactly what I was looking for and the first thing that I found was this Lego diving yacht set which is retiring very soon and was I think like $30 I want to say or $25 again I paid retail price for this one so I didn't get it for a discount but I did pay retail for it and it will be retiring soon so I'm excited to see what this one does for fourth quarter but this is supposed to be one of the more valuable ones going in uh to you know the years prior after it retires so second store I bought that and then I also bought this Brickheads uh Lego Star Wars Mandalorian set and this is uh with the Yoda and the dude I don't know but anyway it's uh it was on discount and oftentimes there's a few brands you want to look out for like star wars harry potter i guess the lego city stuff uh this was one on the list and uh it also was on sale did i mention that it was on discount so it was like 20 percent off or whatever so i figured i'd pick it up it's not retiring soon but it was a good enough deal that brings us to the next store that i went to which was a toys r us and this store had some really good deals going on all of the lego city stuff there at the time that i went was i think 20 or 30 percent off which was a pretty good deal so i went ahead and again i knew what i was looking for and i picked up a couple of the sets that i knew were desirable i picked up another diving yacht right here and i actually picked up one more of those as well so that's three of those that we have now in total Kind of regretted buying the ones at Walmart or the one that I bought when, you know, these ones were going cheaper. But anyway, grabbed two more of those. Then I also got this set right here, the Race Boat Transport. And this was supposed to be, again, one that's supposed to go up in value quite a bit after it retires. And I got that one on a sick discount as well. So very excited about this one as well. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. We may end up liquidating all these this fourth quarter and just taking, you know, maybe a 20, 30 maybe even like a 60% actually, because I'm thinking 2030 on top of retail, but we also paid 2030 under retail. So we're talking probably like 60% gains on these in like a few months. So on that 500 bucks, maybe we turn it into like 800. Again, it's small scale at the moment and it would take some volume, but the idea being that this is a much more safe kind of thing and ideally could beat the stock market returns is kind of what some people were advertising, which is why I'm so curious about it. But anyway, that was what I picked up at Toys R Us. The next store that I went to actually ended up being at Chapters, and this one was really interesting. I really didn't know what I was going to find here. I didn't even know that they really had this sort of toy section in the back corner of the store, but we ran into some really cool stuff. There was plenty of Star Wars there, and let me just say that a couple of the sets that we saw had actually already retired, which was pretty insane to see. Unfortunately, those ones weren't predicted to go up a whole bunch in value, and they were still priced at retail, so I didn't end up picking those up, but I did pick up one here that had already retired that was on sale, and this was a Lego Star Wars Micro Fighter, I believe it's called. Yes, Resistance Y-Wing Micro Fighter right here. And this was one that we picked up, I think, for like $9 or something cheap. And it's supposed to go up to like 30, 40 bucks. So pretty excited about that guy. And again, might be liquidating that in the fourth quarter. Also picked up two of these Red Dude Battle Packs, as I like to call them. And uh, they are, again, Lego Star Wars. They were discounted uh, down from 20, I believe, down to maybe... $12.99 or something. It was a good price, whatever it was. I was really excited to see them going for that price. So I picked them up. They are going to retire very soon. And again, could be a great fourth quarter flip. Continuing on, I went to a mastermind and I tried to find some stuff there, but unfortunately they didn't have anything on discount or anything that was going towards retirement that I didn't already feel like I had enough of for the purpose of this, you know, trial. So I ended up not getting anything there. I actually also did pop into a value village on this trip where I found this set right here that was kind of taped up. I didn't know if it was new, but it was $2.99 or $3.99, something really cheap. So I was super excited about it, but it wasn't until I got here and I opened it that I realized... There was actually stuff in it. There was a bunch of uh, like little toys and cars and stuff. This was funny that it was empty. I, I felt it. I shaked it. I was like, okay, there's something in there. But it was just some toy cars. It wasn't this. So I was kind of upset. Uh, I don't think this was worth a whole lot of money. But for two, three ninety nine, I figured it fit in perfectly for this video. And it was on the same day I was looking for the other Lego. I was like, oh, this is this is perfect. But it ended up not being what I thought. So kind of uh, got played there by value village they had it all taped up i thought it was in there it wasn't so that one's just gonna be garbage anyway moving on to the final location that i went to which was one more walmart and i found they had a sale on the same red dude battle packs so i went ahead and i picked up one more of them for this one was about 15 dollars, i think down from 20 so not a huge sale mind you they are retiring soon and i think the price will still go up so i'm hoping we can get like 30 40 bucks for these sealed maybe even more but that kind of concludes the whole haul. And again, I spent a whole long day, you know, going to quite a few stores. So hopefully this will pay off. Also quite a bit of money out here. So again, we'll see what happens, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Okay, so this here and that over there is kind of a final look at everything that I was able to pick up. Again, just kind of like my first day out there, still learning, but I'm hoping that some of the stuff can make us a lot of money. 
I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna have to obviously do an update video on this in the future. I also have another Lego, uh, you know, dedicated video coming out here soon in the future that all has to do with used Lego because we've been buying a ton of that as well. And I can't wait to go through that and how it compares to the new Lego. You guys will have to wait and see, but it's gonna be super exciting. Okay guys, with that said, I am going to end today's video here. Hopefully you guys found some value in it. If you have any questions for me specifically that you think I might be able to answer about Lego, I'll be happy to try my best and answer them down below. Uh, again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will see you guys all in the next video.